Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video on things you should be doing every single day and uh, things that basically give you free rewards to help out your Pokemon. Um, so the first thing that obviously a lot of you guys probably know about is your missions. Uh, but not only your main and your side missions, but your daily missions. So your daily missions actually refresh every single day. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. And every single one of them actually gives you a unique and different award that you guys can use. And a lot of them are very, very fast and very, very simple to complete. You want to make sure you're doing every single one of these, including these PvP battles, okay? Okay. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are only PvE players, but these PvP battles actually give you some good rewards in the store. And most importantly, guys, if you do 10 of these daily missions every single day, you get this daily chest. And this daily chest gives you different rewards. And I believe usually it's bags, which gives you Pokemon shards, Pokemon pieces, and other bags that help out your Pokemon. Okay, so you want to make sure you finish 10 of these missions every single day, not only to get the free rewards, candies, gold, and XP. As you can see, this one gives energy, um, but uh, you know, you just want to make sure you're finishing all of these so you can even get Gashapon token shards as well. Okay, very, very important, guys. A lot of XP in here as well um, to level up your Pokemon trainer and uh, you know make yourself stronger okay next guys is if you click on this little thing on the top left corner the shaking red machine um, there's daily activities here as well okay now some of these are hard to complete but a lot of these are pretty easy for example the gym owner one is pretty easy you just have to challenge the gym owners um, you know online rewards um, so if you're just doing these every day you get a lot of free items as well but not only do you get those items um, from doing these investigations but you also get activities at the bottom here and once you get to 120 activities you actually get a pretty good reward so the 30 reward as you can see is a normal bag I believe the 60 reward is a blue bag, 90 is purple, and then 120 is legendary. Uh, just from my memory there, okay? So make sure you guys are doing these every single day, just because they're so easy, guys. And um, they give you good rewards. And once you get 120 rewards, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good stuff that you get. The next thing that you guys want to keep track of, um, it's actually kind of a part of your daily missions as well, um, but the PvP stuff, if I can just go to it, uh, if I can find it. Uh, let me just go to the PvP. So, uh, basically guys, the PvP stuff has its own rewards as well. So if I go to, uh, if I click proceed to complete here, um, as you can see, it has these um, reward boxes as well, okay? So these reward boxes are a little bit different, but they give you gems, okay? So all you have to do is win five battles and nine battles, and you can do that uh, a few times per day. And you actually get free gems and uh, these coins that you can use in the store. And once you get a lot of these uh, coins, you can actually buy stuff from the store, uh, which I can show you real quick. Uh, the store, and that is the CP store. So if you weren't sure how to get CP tokens, this is how, as you can see at 585. So I can, do, you know, buy Gashapon token shards. I can buy box keys and box keys are actually pretty cool guys. A lot of people don't know about this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these here. And um, I'm going to click on honor chest here in the top right corner in the menu, honor chest. And when you win some PvP battles, you actually get honor chests, okay? So when you win some PvP battles, you get honor chests. I've already opened mine for today, um, but this honor chest gives me rewards as well. 
Okay, so what I'm doing, guys, basically is I'm maximizing all the awards that I'm getting in order to always be upgrading my Pokemon. Okay, um, so yeah, guys, just make sure you're always doing these necessary things every single day. Another very important one is the gym leader battle. Okay, make sure you're doing this every single day. I just like to uh, quickly challenge mine. Uh, that way, I just get right on my rewards claim and then i'll challenge him again and claim so i got my 20 pieces and my four uh badge cores okay once i've done that the next thing i always do is eevee's treasures guys make sure you do eevee's treasures every single day because as you can see it gives you the rare candy b which gives you fifty thousand xp for your pokemon okay so sweep as you can see, I got nine of those guys and 18 green candies, okay? I'm going to sweep again nine of them, guys. That's so much XP that I'm getting, and it's the best way to level up your Pokemon, okay? So make sure you're doing this Eevee challenge every day. Um, as you can see, you can get the, uh, you can do the nighttime one as well during the nighttime. And um, besides that, obviously, the expedition is good as well. Now, I'm working on doing the star level challenges as well. This one is a little bit harder because the Pokemon are a higher level. But I'll make a video on that too once I'm done that. Um, but yeah, guys, these are things you want to make sure you're doing every single day to get, you know, increase your Pokemon levels and get stronger. Okay. Um, besides that, guys, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. As you can see, I'm going to get my uh, Zapdos tomorrow. And I'm actually going to get my Mew uh, today. So I'll make a video on getting my Mew as well. Uh, I'll probably make a video on getting them both. So if you guys want to check that out, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll definitely go over that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And bye for now.